Hey guys, Julie here from Mostly Caffeinated. Uh, my desk is an epic disaster, so I wanted to get this off my desk. This is one less thing that needs to be piled here. Um, I'm an unboxing, a little bit of first impression. I don't own any other menstrual cups at this time, so I can't, like, first impressions compare this to anything. Just kind of, you know, packaging, quality type of thing as it relates to itself. Um, so this came to my P.O. box, in case any of you lovely viewers have a P.O. box. It will fit in there. It came folded up like this. I'm covering up my address. And I was like, what on earth? Like, it's all pink. It's got this big orange thing emblazoned on it. It looks like it's like hazardous material or, or something, or like a supplement or something. I was like, what did I order? And then I unfolded it, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Let's just say this about the packaging. It is not discreet. Ruby cup. Bam. Right there. Um, but the the customs label is more discreet. It says silicone cup. It doesn't say you know menstrual cup or alternative menstrual products or anything like that. Airmail sticker, UK postage. And this is a cool thing that I did not know. Um, it says that this bag is 100% biodegradable and environmentally friendly. So I appreciate that it came in a plastic bag because I don't know how I feel about like a. Would, I don't know if you'd call this a medical device, but like, you know, an internal device coming in like a manila envelope. That's kind of what I pictured, but I'm glad it came in this plastic envelope. Um, okay, and then on the back, it just has a return sticker. It's got the address in Suffolk. 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 If I stop and think long enough, I know how to pronounce, like, British places, but for some reason this is just not coming to me. Anyway, it's got the address, the return address there. I did unseal the, the baggie just to make sure that I didn't have, like, major epic fail problems on my um, one-take video here. But I haven't, like, taken anything out. I just unsealed it to make sure. By the way, it unseals very easily. You just pop this sticker, which kind of serves as, like, a safety seal, and then it's, like, a self-seal envelope. Like, it restuck itself. Um, but it came open pretty easy. Okay, and then... Ta da Inside the bag! Ooh! Is that all the stuff? Yep. Okay. Um, other than the documents enclosed, which come on the outside, I'm sure that's just like a packing, packing slip, and it's got my address on it, so I'm not gonna get that out. Okay, what falls out of the bag is like a business card, and then a little pouch with the cup in it. Business card first. It says, no girl should have to miss school because of her period. That's why I bought Ruby Cup, actually, is because they donate um, a cup to a girl in Africa for every cup that you purchase. It says on the back, you just changed a girl's life. Help a friend do the same. Give them this coupon code. Sweet. So I'll put this in the uh, description box below, this coupon code. So you can save 15%. Then you get this little baggie. I've seen these in reviews before. It's canvas. It's a canvas material with um, satin ribbon ties. It's a wider ribbon. That's kind of nice. It says Ruby Cup on it. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Cups in there, obviously. I got a blue one because, I don't know. I didn't want a clear one, and red just seemed kind of obvious. And then there's the little booklet. Instructions for use. Gebrauchsanweisung. Instructions de uso. Brugsanweisung. I don't even know what that last language is. <laughs> it's English, German, I'm assuming Spanish. I suppose it could be French or Italian, but it comes in a lot of different languages. It's got a little welcome message. It says it can be reused for 10 years. Cup must be boiled for five minutes after each period and stored in a bag. Okay, talks about insertion, removal, cleaning, storage. It's got a couple pages on the health benefits. There's a couple little troubleshooting things, and then it starts over in a different language. So, that's nice. Um, then the cup itself. Here it is. If you haven't seen one of these before, 
it's I don't know I got the bigger size I don't know what I think they only come in like small and medium so I got the bigger one because um, I've had a couple of kids it does have um, volume measurements up the side I can see that and it's got four air holes oh and it says ruby cup stamped in the side too that's cool um, it's got some grip rings on the bottom got a pretty substantial stem which also has little grippy things um, so that's good it's not like super super soft it's not like unbelievably squishy um, I don't know I don't have a lot to compare this to what I can tell you is I own a diaphragm and the the cup portion of this is much firmer than than the uh, I don't know the middle of a diaphragm but it's certainly not nearly that stiff those have a metal metal like spring on the inside um, this seems like it's gonna be a lot more comfortable than that to use so that's nice I know they don't do the same thing okay disclaimer 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 <laughs> this is not a contraceptive okay and a diaphragm is not a menstrual product I just that's the only thing I have to compare it to because I don't own another menstrual cup um, but anyway, it seems it seems very you know nice quality. There's no fuzz stuck to it or anything. Color's good. It's a little bit translucent. It's not a, not quite as vibrant as it looked on the um, internet. But that's I don't care. I just thought I'd throw that out there since it's a thing that I know. All right. Well, we'll see how that goes. I will talk about my experiences after I've used this for a couple of cycles. Sweet purple glanis. I don't even have my period back yet postpartum. Um, I just am awaiting the inevitable. My baby's almost one, so there's <laughs> there's no way I'm getting away with this for very long. So I thought I would order one of these, and as long as I was opening it for the first time, I'd unbox it for you. So there we go. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions about this product packaging, ordering, anything like that, you can ask me in the comments down below. Um, Go ahead and subscribe, click like, so I can see who's all out there. You get a message from me if you subscribe, and um, I enjoy watching our little community grow. So I'll see you around. Have a good day.